the next section we're going to uh, bring in is the first downstream valley section. So we're going to go ahead and go over to our DGN file with our survey data in it. Again, our survey data, here's the stream bed, here's the upper valley, the two typical channel sections, and here's our first downstream valley section that the surveyors uh, shot in. And so to bring this in, uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the data, see how they uh, surveyed it incorrectly. Uh, first point is 1606, then it goes down 1605, and then 1604. So uh, when we bring this data in, it's going to come in uh, basically from the right and then go to the left, which is backwards. But that's not a big deal. Um, and again, to, to verify that uh, that's the way it comes in is we can go to these little help uh, comments. And uh, if you uh, look uh, in here, it says the first point listed here should be the end point of the first downstream valley section on the left side of the stream bed as you're looking downstream. The points need to be listed below from left to right along the first downstream valley section. So our surveyor entered it in uh, backwards or shot it in backwards, but that's not a big deal because we have this invert downstream valley contents. So let's go ahead and get that, that information. And we're going to select on it. And we're going to go down to this edit point features. What that does is it brings up the survey details pane. And it has all the points listed in there in order. We're going to go ahead and select them by clicking in this box right here and then going straight down in this column we're going to right click and we're going to report the selected elements. Then we're going to go to um, this table here. We're going to select a different report. puts it in the format that we like. Northern Easting Elevation. Also gives you the point name. So we're going to go ahead and convert this to a Microsoft Excel because it's easier to copy the data out of there. And We're going to select the point name all the way uh, down uh, over to Elevation and down. So we're going to go ahead and copy that information. We're going to go back to the GeoHex spreadsheet. Uh, since we're bringing over point names, we're going to get in the row one and at the point name location. I'm going to come in and paste. You can see the information. But again, the data is coming uh, from the right to the left, I believe. So let's go ahead and take a look at that data one more time. I'm close this down. I'm going to close the details pane now. And the first point should be this 1606 point. But if we look at the spreadsheet, it's the 1580 point. Not a big deal. All we have to do is hit Invert Downstream Valley Section Contents. And there's our 1606 point. And now we can go ahead and visualize the downstream valley profile. And that is uh, correct the way it looks there. So we're going to go ahead and return back to the main page. Now we're going to get that station value in there. So I'm going to go back to our DGN file. And this station that we're looking for is the station of the stream bed at the intersection of that first downstream valley section. So here's the stream bed here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, toggle on my civil AccuDraw. I've got the station offset set up. I'm going to go to a, uh, just a horizontal tool. The one I always like to pick is the line tool. You can see that I have station information and offset information on my cursor. I'm going to make sure that it's pointing to the stream bed by hitting the O button and then we're selecting the survey center line. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to hover over that and we've got it looks like a point at the same or very close to the same section. Uh, the point, if I want to, I can turn off that level if it's hard to tell where the stream bed is. So I'm going to go to my level manager. I've got use turned on and those survey points have their own feature and so I can just come in here and turn off survey points and that should make it a little bit easier to pick the intersection of the stream bed and the first down, downstream valley section. And that station value is going to be 22 plus 15.86. And so I'm going to use that value in my GeoHex spreadsheet, 22 plus 15.86. And so that's all there is to entering data into the first downstream valley section for the GeoHex spreadsheet.